over the course of a year, an investor strives to earn interest or profit from the investment of cash. This money earned is referred to as the return on investment, or ROI. But it doesn't always give a complete picture of your investment return, especially when you hold an investment for several years, as there may be years when additional cash infusion may be necessary for planned expansion or repairs. What if the property is a reposition project where there is substantial rehab in year one and no cash flow? When you resell in year five, the profit from appreciation will skew the year five ROI to an unrealistically high number. Simply stated, ROI gives you a snapshot of your investment return for one year, but medium to long-term investments provide varying ROIs each year you own the investment. So we use internal rate of return, or IRR, to show the cumulative annual return for a multi-year investment. Consider the following example where you invest 25% down, $1 million, plus an additional $200,000 in rehab costs on a $4 million apartment that yields only $50,000 cash flow in year one because the apartment is vacant most of the year due to the rehab, but it yields $300,000 in years two through five plus a net profit on resale of $1 million due to appreciation and repositioning. We arrange the data in a T-bar. The amount in parentheses represents our initial investment at purchase, year zero, and is a negative number because we're putting money into the property. The positive numbers in year one through five indicate that we're getting money out. You can Google IRR calculator and download a program, or use a web-based IRR calculator, or most financial calculators can also figure IRR. Also, the latest versions of Excel and other spreadsheets can also calculate IRR. So when we plug the numbers from our T-bar into our IRR calculator, we get a multi-year internal rate of return of 17% per year. But if we just calculated the first year cash on cash ROI, then we get ROI equals 4%. If we try to sell a 4% ROI to investor partners, they'll laugh us out of the building. But the true multi-year IRR of 17% is something they would easily consider because most savvy, accredited, and institutional investors look for IRRs in the range of 8 to 15%. Thanks for watching. And if you know other investors who might find this type of information helpful, forward it, share it, and see more like it at investorsonly.com. Next.